and welcome to another edition, episode, something, anyway, uh, what I'm doing today, this do-it-yourself video, is going to cover how to change out your spark plug wires. Now, as these bikes get older, th this is on the, uh, the K1200, on, as these bikes get older, these wires, they rub on different areas here, like on the inside of the... Uh, uh, you know they lay on top of these boots and engine vibration occurs a little dirt gets in there and pretty soon you might start seeing like these these really white areas right here and those can rub right through there's a little bit of rub through going on there and then you get arcing coming through the wires so that's not too cool these were made uh, looks like I don't know, maybe 12 12 of one um, anyway so what we're going to do here is I'm going to change these out now I picked up a set of spark plug wires and if you go and get the BMW wires you are going to spend a, a boatload of money I think they're probably two hundred and thirty dollars for these four wires how stupid well anyway uh, our friends over at beamerboneyard.com sell a very nice set of spark plug wires they sell a custom set that were made for them by uh, Euro Motor Electrics. Comes with the wires, some instructions, and a little uh, little packet of uh, dielectric grease to put on the uh, on the spark plugs themselves. In the bag here, we've got, of course, we have four wires, but they're going to be different lengths. Now, they also have the boots as you can see are at 40 basically like 45 or 40 degree angles instead of a 90 degree angle that these boots are so they're gonna fit in there a little bit different however the routing is also it, it's also going to change like you've got these really long wires that loop around in different areas go you know looping you got a big loop here for the number two spark plug wire uh, really long wire and right behind this panel right here is where they all connect to the coil pack <clears throat> so you got uh, four different lengths and actually you got three different lengths so you got two wires that are the same length okay you can pull those out those are going to be for the uh, number one and the number four wires and then you've got two other lengths and the shorter of the two is going to be this one here is going to be for the number three and then that one would be for the number two now we're going to change these off at one at a time so we don't get anything screwed up so I've got our we just got to pull off this little cover here Yeah, I know what's Very slick, huh? Got a little grounding strap down there. Okay. There we go. Now, you don't have to take off your valve cover to do this job. There's a little bridge piece here. The only reason this valve cover is off is because I just checked the valves on this. Uh, if you want to know how to check your valves, uh, it's certainly in one of my other videos on how to how to check your valves. Anyway, so we got, uh, it's really just a pretty straightforward process here, but we'll start, well, I don't know where we're going to start, really. I guess I'll start at number one. That nah, changed my mind. I'm starting at number four. So you take a little, like, hook tool, and you grab onto it, and just pull straight out. Yeah. So, 
Let me pull off the corresponding coil wire, maybe. There we go. And feed it through. So there's our number four wire. We can give them a good inspection to see. Oh, look at that. Right there. Definitely had some. Some bare wire action going on right there. No way you wouldn't have felt that. These are absolutely, totally time to change. Wow. Actually feels even a little weak in that area. There had to have been some arcing happening there. So, go back to our... What I'm going to do is I'm going to write on here the numbers as well as on here. I'm going to put the numbers on here as I go so I can just get them all put back together right away the correct way okay Next one we'll go with is number three. Once I get these back in, just to shorten up the little the video right here. Uh, once I get them all hooked back in the correct way I'll show the routing as how it goes in so I'm just gonna go through here four three two one and uh, you'll get the idea I got them all marked I'm gonna put a little bit of this uh, dielectric grease on here and I'm just gonna apply the uh, dielectric grease to just to the inside lip here because it's gonna what it'll do is it just helps you to be able to get the thing off later <clears throat> just a little screwdriver I guess well I marked all of them too so now we got number one we'll just go in reverse order put these on one Definitely like these wires better than the originals. Three. And I guess instead of just making it really short, they want you to loop this one. Come in upside down. There it is. That's it. Just kind of make sure that they're not uh, rubbing on anything that's going to be... You know, so, so they don't sit there vibrating. Doesn't look like they're going to though once this cover's on here. Looks like everything's going to sit in here really nice and solid. So, nice quality piece of uh, aftermarket equipment here. <clears throat> I highly recommend getting them. Uh, even if you don't get them, even if you don't, I definitely re recommend the next time you have your uh, the side of your bike cover off, uh, check your wires. Pull them out. Take your wires off and really inspect them. Go really carefully over them. You're going to start seeing real thin areas on them. Uh, as I showed earlier in the video, that rub through area, uh, almost like you know some kink areas. Uh, yeah, this one's not too bad, although it's got a good a good rub started right here. Uh, it's not rubbed all the way through, so this one probably wasn't leaking anything. Now uh, there's something that's not cool. A split in the wire. Right there. And you can't see any wires underneath. But it's still... I can get my fingernail in there. It's split pretty good. So, 
Anyway, it's a good idea to change them out. And it's also definitely a good idea to not go and buy them from BMW because who wants to spend 230 bucks or whatever they are? You know, you can buy, that's basically like 70 bucks a piece. Uh, you can buy this whole set for 70 bucks versus one wire for 70 bucks. You do the math. Anyway, thank you for watching and uh, hope you got something out of this video. Uh, hopefully soon I will have a DVD version that uh, you'll be able to purchase of all of the maintenance videos that I've done in one place. At least I hope all of them. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Check out our club, IllinoisBMWRiders.com.